Uh, hello and welcome to Cooking with Launchlet number five. Today we're going to look at different kinds of recipes, um, specifically the four main ones that you can use to create more complex kinds of uh, structures. Uh, there's probably more than four, but uh, these are the, the main ones. Um, the first one we're going to look at is called uh, Command. Uh, the second one is a procedure. Uh, the third one is going to be a subject, and the fourth one is an action. Uh, why do we have all these names? I mean, they're all really recipes, right? They're no, there's not really a, there's like, you know, something with a name, and there's some JavaScript that happens, and uh, so we have different names for these things just because they're, they're each handled a little bit differently uh, in the context of the launcher. So let's start by making uh, a command. Uh, we're going to create a new recipe here, and we're going to call it um, say hello and in the function body we're going to say window alert hello so now I can just uh, call the launcher and I can search for a command say hello and I can hit enter and I can run it and then it runs the code so this is very simple um, and now we're going to introduce a new type of recipe and extend this one. So uh, this is a bit of a contrived example because we're just like window alerting something. But let's say that is something that's useful, right? This idea to like alert and we don't want to have to like type in window alert all the time. Maybe we do something more complex. So um, we can actually encapsulate that into a function. And then we can uh, into a function which is another kind of recipe and then we can invoke that function in the context of another recipe. Um, let's just uh, do it. So uh, we're going to make a new recipe and we're going to call it, uh, we're not going to give it a name because this is not going to be a command that we run. This is going to be a function that we call inside another recipe. So let's call this uh, xyz greet Okay, as in greet, and the way we greet is we're going to say um, window alert, but the thing is that we don't want this to say a specific thing. We want this to just do something um, based on a certain kind of input. So we're actually going to uh, put an argument to this recipe, and we're just going to call it input data. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to window alert whatever the input data is. Okay, um, and maybe we'll just like add an exclamation mark. Okay, that's going to be the special logic that we have in here. And so um, again, if I open the launcher and I search for greet, um, there, there's something else that I created, but you notice there's no XYZ greet, uh, which is the name of this recipe. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this in our say hello uh, command. Um, so instead of saying window alert hello, we're going to go uh, this.api, which again is our gateway into calling other kinds of recipes. And uh, there's different ways to do this. Um, for example, if I called that procedure greet me with a space in between, you would have to use this notation here. Uh, which is just the object notation for JavaScript, greet me. Um, and we're going to pass it um, hello here. And um, now we run, we say hello, and it goes hello exclamation mark because it's using that other recipe to um, do some logic on the input. Um, I don't usually like to have spaces in these uh, signatures because um, it's just more complex to uh, it's more complex to refer to them. So um, I prefer to do this: this dot api dot xyz greet, or even just greet whatever. I like to have prefixes, but it's the same thing. So there's different ways to access other recipes based on whether they have spaces. Um, but uh, okay, so now we've we've taken that logic of like window alert and add an exclamation mark and we've put it into a function. So now I can reuse that anywhere. And this is the whole point of um, extracting things into different recipes. It's so that you can reuse stuff. Um, so again, the two kinds of recipes so far that we've done are commands, which is 
you have a name and a callback body. Uh, and then there's what we call a procedure, which is uh, it has a signature and it has uh, a callback body. It may or may not have an input. Um, but in our case, we used an input to do some special stuff. Um, so this is basically like the more simple ones. And uh, now uh, the, the other two, uh, I have to explain them in the context of pipe mode. Uh, you can't actually use the next two recipes in this kind of launcher where we are looking for stuff. Um, you know, we search for something and then it has a list and then we select one. This is a very simple way to access your recipes, but um, there's another mode called pipe mode, which gives you, uh, you can turn it on by um, enabling this checkbox here. Um, and in pipe mode, it organizes the recipes a little bit differently. It's not just search and select, it's search for something and then take the result of that thing and pipe it into something else. Okay, so we're gonna take, we're gonna search for what's called a subject and then we're going to run an action on the subject. So it essentially organizes all of your recipes into the subject action paradigm, which I will demonstrate here. Uh, so for example, uh, let's look for say hello again. Okay, so again, here's some, uh, this part here, which is the, the list of subjects. You can see more stuff than you would normally see in the, the normal mode. Um, and, and I'll explain a bit more about that later, but say hello, for example, is a command. And what can we do with a command? Well, let's go into the actions to see um, what we can do. And the only thing you can do with a command is you can run it, right? And that's why they're kind of inflexible. Um, but it functions the same way. Take this and do something with it. So now I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to run the command, say hello, which is going to do everything that we just um, programmed. Okay. Uh, let's look at a real subject. So um, we're going to invoke the launcher and I have a subject here called the date, um, which I'll show you here. Um, it's called the date and I gave it a signature so I can reuse it. It has some input data, but I don't actually need the input data and it does a bunch of stuff and it basically returns a string which represents the current date. And again, this is not built into the app. I wrote this, you can make your own. Um, and uh, let's just see, uh, oh, sorry, the important thing here is that it returns a string. We've said that it returns a string. So the result of doing it, the result of organizing it this way is that now when we invoke the launcher in pipe mode, we can search for the date. And um, what can we do with the date, which as we can see here is a string. Uh, what can we do with the string? Uh, whoops, um, we can copy to the clipboard uh, we can display it in large text. Um, this is some obscure thing that I created. And we can search the string with um, one of our um, search services that we've created. Um, so let's try copy to clipboard. Um, so now it's copied the current date to the clipboard, 2021.04.15. That's how I like to show my dates if you want to do it a little bit differently. Um, this is kind of the point. You can just have your own way to uh, uh, show the stuff. Um, so that's, you know, we can copy to the clipboard. We can have large text, which is an, a recipe that's built into Launchlet, or it's an action that's built into Launchlet in pipe mode. So if I say large text, it creates this little thing that has um, the string in large text. Again, this works with any kind of string. So I'm going to just insert you know, some random text here. Hello there. And what can we do with the string? Again, we can copy it to the clipboard. We can put it in large text. Um, we can also search it with one of our different uh, search URL template search services things. Um, so let's search it on Wikipedia, for example. So now I take the string, I search it with Wikipedia. Um, so this gives us a lot of extensibility in how uh, we're not just limited to like pushing things and running things, right? We can compose um, this sort of almost like a sentence, right? Do this with this. Um, so let's create uh, a subject. Um, we're we're going to create a really basic one. Uh, 
Let's create a new recipe and we're going to give it a name because it's got to be accessible in the launcher. And we're going to call this um, salutation. And we are going to return uh, yo, which is a string. Um, now, just because we're returning something doesn't mean that the system knows what we're doing, right? Um, the, again, the system is not inspecting our stuff and trying to do some kind of intelligent thing. So we have to say, we have to declare what we're returning so that the system can organize it into this subject action paradigm, which means that we have to enter in an output type. Okay, and we're going to say output type string. And now this is a subject. Again, it has a name. Um, it returns something and then it declares the type of the return value. Um, I haven't listed all the different types you can uh, declare. Um, I will document that later. And you can also create your custom types, which is another type of recipe, actually. I forgot to mention that. Maybe I'll do that at the end. Um, you can create a custom type. Um, I'm a bit scattered today. Okay, so yeah, so let's look at the uh, salutation subject. So we're going to invoke the launcher. We're going to look for a salu uh, salutation. And we can see here the type is a string, as we said. And again, what can we do with the string? We can copy to the clipboard. We can put it as large text, or we can search it with. So let's go with large text. Boom. OK. Uh, so now we have our subject. And we, we didn't define what to do with that subject, but there were these actions available. Um, so that's the third type of recipe. Uh, and the fourth one would be the, uh, the action. So let's now create an action that can be used with any string. So let's create a new recipe here, and we're going to call this shout. And uh, we are going to have uh, arguments here. The thing about an action is that it takes uh, input. We're, we're piping something into the action. So we have to declare an input. Um, let's call it uh, text. And uh, uh, we also have to declare the input type. Uh, and you can have multiple inputs and multiple input types. Uh, they're just comma-separated values. Um, for now, we're just going to keep it simple, and we're going to say uh, string. Uh, actually, yeah, let's maybe, because it might not be, I don't think I have this well documented, so I'm going to do two, just spontaneously. Um, punctuation, and we're going to comma separate that. I hope this works. <laughs> Okay, so um, so we've defined inputs, we've defined multiple inputs, and the input types that correspond to those inputs. Um, now let's do something with it. So we're going to uh, window alert, and we're going to take the text, and uh, we're going to say to upper case. Okay, so we're going to take some text, I'm going to put it in uppercase so it looks like we're speaking very loudly. Um, and then we're going to append to that um, some punctuation. Uh, ooh, no, 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 no. I've done this wrong. Okay. Um, in theory, this is how you would do this, but um, I'm actually not prepared to do this today. So uh, I'm going to simplify this again, and we're just going to go with one thing. Too ambitious. Okay, so we're going to take one string that's called text, and we're just going to uppercase that and window alert. That's it. Okay, uh, so again, an action, it has a name, it has an input, it has an input type so that the system knows how to organize it, it knows what kind of, it knows when to show the action. For example, we don't want to show a string action when we have like a date or when we have a, when we have a, um, a command or something. So um, the, the declaration of these types helps the system organize um, uh, when to display these recipes. So name, input, input type, and function body. Okay, let's run it and uh, we're going to go to our salutation. 
And now uh, we can copy to clipboard, we have large text, or we have shout, which is what we just wrote here. So I'm going to run shout, and it uppercases the yo. Um, we can also, let's make a quick, uh, oh yeah, no, let's do this. Um, so many options, oh my gosh. Uh, let's make some random text, and we're just going to say hello there, and we're going to say shout. So now we've taken some input, we've piped it in to a custom action. Um, so uh, this is uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here, uh, different kinds of recipes, different ways they all interact together, but um, it, it really gives you this flexibility to kind of compose things. And uh, you can just keep like, you know, building stuff over time, and more importantly, you can reuse things, right? So you're not like rewriting the same stuff over and over again, like I can take things out, put it into a function, um, so uh, it's a really useful way to organize stuff, and um, yeah, there are there, there are more types of recipes, but I think I'm just going to call it for today, and um, maybe another time I'll show how to do custom types and uh, other stuff. In case you don't know, there's a link below in the description of this video on Vimeo, um, which has uh, the actual code for these recipes. So if you want to just like copy and paste this stuff, um, just look for the link below and there's like, it's all there. Hope that was useful. Uh, see you next time.